it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl and today I'm going to go over my 10 goals for 2022. Now the goals that I'm mentioning here are just for Cutting Corners Vinyl. If you're interested in my personal goals be sure to check out my second channel which is just Betsy Gocher. It is linked in the description box and if you're interested check it out. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now I shortened my list to 10 goals because I figured that was a little bit more manageable because pretty much over the last couple of years, whenever I try to do goals, I haven't really been able to obtain them. And I'm hoping this year with a little bit less on my plate that I can do it. So number one is I want to make videos that make me happy. One of the things I definitely noticed is whenever I was making videos because it was requested and not something I was super interested in, or if it was something popular and I was making sure that I was sharing it with y'all, that they didn't go that well and they weren't things that really made me enjoy it. So I think you could tell in those videos. So I want to take a step back and refocus on the things that truly excite me. So hopefully that helps. Number two is I want to learn more about my camera. Now I just upgraded my camera at the end of December. I bought the Canon EOS R6. I had been using a Canon T6i but my T6i, the autofocus, was giving me lots of problems. So as you can see, there's no blurring. I like it, but I do want to learn more about it because, you know, cameras are one of those things that I feel like are a little bit over my head and I don't want them to be. Number three, I want to learn more about editing. And the reason why I say this is because I want to make sure I'm including every pertinent information whenever I'm teaching you guys something. So I want to get better at that aspect of it. So hopefully I can. Um, I am using my Mac now and I am using iMovie, but I'm contemplating getting Final Cut Pro. I'm just not sure if it's something I need or not. So if you've used it, let me know down below in the comments. Number four, I want to get back to my regular posting schedule. With everything that's gone on, I have not been consistent. And for me, consistency is key. Like I like to have things routine. I like to have things order. And all of this all over the place really has kind of messed with me a little bit. So I want to get back into my regular posting schedule, which will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with my lives on Tuesday. Now, sometimes we might have to miss a live depending on what's going on, but for the most part, that's what the schedule is going to be. Now, number five, is I want to interact more with y'all. When I first started doing YouTube, I used to spend so much time interacting with y'all. But, you know, as things progressed and the store got busier, it was very difficult because I was pulled in 20,000 different directions. So now that there's not as much on my plate, I want to go back kind of to basics and be able to, you know, really get to know y'all because I think that that is extremely important because I think that I have one of the best communities here on social media and I love you guys and you know, that is how I learn one, what y'all want to see and two, what it is that that makes this community special, I guess is the best way to put it. You know, because whenever I see everybody in the comments and things like that, I have seen so many different people from so many different walks of life. And I think that that shows really how important that this can be. Um, so I want to interact more and that's not just on YouTube. I'm going to start posting videos directly to Facebook as well. I'm going to interact more on Instagram and on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, number six, I am going to set up a Google Drive where you can access all the SVGs on Patreon. Instead of having to kind of go back and look through posts, um, it may take a little bit of time because 
we have a ton of files but I am going to sort them by seasons and things like that so it will make it a little bit easier and I'll just change the password at the beginning of the month and then whoever joins you can access it now I'm not sure if a lot of people know this and this isn't a ploy to get you to join patreon but if you join patreon at any point you can cancel at any point so if you're just wanting one file you can join get that file and then cancel and you won't be charged for the next month now there are discounts if you do annual plans in case you're wondering but again that's not something you have to do number seven i want to try out more crafts and supplies that has been one of the things that has actually brought me joy is like i've really been enjoying playing more with sublimation i've really been enjoying playing more with epoxy and whenever i was looking at things more through the business angle of it it wasn't pertinent for me to concentrate a whole lot on those things you know you want people to buy things from you and buy things from your store I mean and I've always said this that I don't make the tutorials for you to shop from me but it does help but now that that's gone you know I can focus and play more which is definitely part of the fun of crafting you know sometimes you're going to mess up sometimes you're going to succeed but you know if you can't play and have fun then what's the point of doing it next up is number eight and that is try to get ahead in filming and that's a hard one so if you didn't notice there weren't hardly any videos for december because i had a lot of stuff that happened i ended up having emergency surgery blah 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 i've talked about it I'm kind of done. I'm over it. <laughs> but I used to try to get ahead. And it seems like there's been so much that's happened that I can't get ahead. And then it's like, oh, well, I'm missing posting and I'm missing doing this. So I want to get ahead so I can continue to be consistent. Because again, consistency is key. Number nine is I need to learn to let it go. I am not one that is good at sharing responsibilities. I want to take everything on and do it myself, which probably has something to do with a lot of the health issues and things like that I've had lately. And as I said, I want to let go of some of the responsibility. You know, we closed down the business. The only thing that is under my business anymore is YouTube and Patreon. Everything else is gone. So that is the stuff that brings me joy. You know, I don't want to be stressed and having to figure out that I need to go to work at this time and then I have a doctor's appointment and then I have this and I have that. You know, part of it is I need to let some things go so that way hopefully I can focus a little bit more on getting my health to a good place. You know, stress is really bad for you and I don't think a lot of people realize how terrible it actually can be for you number 10 and this is probably a long shot but i want to hit 200,000 subscribers and honestly it's not about the 200,000 subscribers and i want to kind of explain this a little bit more um to me it shows that what i'm putting out there people are enjoying and that y'all like it and I'm making you happy which in turn makes me happy so the number is kind of arbitrary it is just what I'm using as this is kind of to show that I can do this and I can grow um, but it's not like that is the number I have to hit if that makes sense but those are my 10 goals for 2022 what are your goals for 2022 I want to know leave them in the comments down below maybe it'll give me some ideas also, if there are things that you're interested in seeing, comment them again down below. Because even if I don't get around to it, it's always fun to see what y'all are interested in seeing, if that makes sense. But hopefully you will check me out on all my social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, pretty much that's it. I never get on Twitter. Sometimes I post on Pinterest. <laughs> Like, I just lost all train of thought. <laughs> so, there's that. And then I also have my 
second channel, which is pretty much about makeup and then about me. So I have that Instagram as well, but you can check it out. You don't have to, but I guess that's it. So we shall see y'all tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So or we'll do our live at five on Tuesday and we will be announcing the scrap box winners for the regular and for Patreon. And if you have not entered, make sure you go and watch the video for the last drawing and comment. That's how we pick our winner for regular. And then if you're a Patreon supporter, you're automatically entered in. But I guess that's it. So we shall see y'all later. Bye.